So a video about keyboard shortcuts, well that's not very exciting, but what if it was a video about keyboard shortcuts that controlled your smart devices? Well, let's take a look. Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek. Today I'm going to be going through some software that I've been given special access to by Ewe Link. Um, you know, I featured them previously on the channel. There's a link up above if you want to go and watch that video uh, where I talk about their smart home ecosystem and their, their mobile app um, you know, that I featured on that video. Um, and they reached out to me again and said, you know, would I be interested in uh, this, this new bit that they've got, this keyboard shortcuts app? Now, you know, this is something that's a, kind of like a bit new to me. Uh, you know, I don't know whether anything else like this uh, has previously or currently exist. You know, if you guys do, then you know, feel free to comment down below. Um, but you know, with our smart homes and smart devices, we are uh, generally, you know, we interact with those devices via things like smart speakers, mobile apps, things like that. So, uh, you know, this is just another way to be able to interact with those devices. And if you think about it, you know, generally in kind of like day to day. Uh, you know, in, in, in your lives, you probably spend, you know, certainly if you're playing games or something like that, or you're working uh, from home or something like that, you know, you are probably sat at a computer at that point in time. You may not have a smart speaker in the room where you're sat. So to have even more flexibility in the way that you interact with your smart devices, I think is always welcome. So as I mentioned on the previous video, uh, Iwi Link are a sister company to Sonoff, uh, and you know they've sent me a light bulb and uh, an RGB kit from uh, Sonoff to uh, to go and demonstrate this keyboard shortcuts functionality. So big um, big thanks to uh, Iwi Link for sorting that out for me. Uh, you can't bribe me that easily. I'm going to give everybody my honest opinion on this keyboard shortcuts, but yeah, much appreciated. So um, first things first, I'm going to get these installed. And uh, you know, and then we can have a look at the keyboard shortcuts app. So the RGB LED bulb, well, you know, it's a it's a smart bulb. You know, not an awful lot to say here. Um, you know, setup for it was really a, a straightforward process. You know, screw the bulb in, and uh, you know, when you switch it on, it starts flashing, and you go into the app, and you basically connect it in the uh, kind of like the pairing mode, the Bluetooth pairing. Um, you know, get it connected onto your Wi-Fi, and that is it. Really, it was such a simple process. Probably one of the easiest bulb setups I've had to go through. And um, well, you know, all I can say is that once it's in there, the colours from this bulb are really, really nice. Uh, you know, really nice shades that it, it gives off there. Uh, you can see that in the footage here. You know, I've not enhanced that footage at all, and uh, you know, gives some really nice colours. So onto the LED RGB strip that uh, Ewe Link have sent. So again, Sonoff uh, kit. This is a five meter kit. You get all your bits and bobs in the box here. Um, you get uh, your Wi-Fi controller. This is a Wi-Fi kit, not a Zigbee one. And uh, you get a little remote control as well if you want to use that rather than any other interaction via, you know, kind of like smart speakers or mobile app or whatever. Um, yeah, everything's here in the box. The, I must say the, the RGB strip is actually really nice quality. Over the years I've used various ones and you can kind of feel where the uh, solder points are, where the strip's being joined together. Um, this is really nice. It is waterproof, good quality thickness there as well. Um, so yeah, setup is really straightforward. You just put it into a pairing mode and you're going to have to use the remote control for doing that. Uh, and then you just connect it in via the mo the eWilling mobile app. So we put it into pairing mode and then you know that effectively flashes the LEDs a different color. You go into the app and you say that you want to do a boot Bluetooth pairing and uh, you know again as it was with the light bulb really quick and easy to go and do this. You know it found the device really quickly and uh, you know you just set it up as to which room you're going to uh, put it in. And, uh, and then you can just interact with the device uh, within the Ewe Link app. Uh, you know, you can set up all your different uh, you know, kind of like color themes and things like that. Uh, one thing you can't do, you know, you can't paint different sections of the LED strip. It's not that type of LED strip, but you have got all different scenes, pre-configured scenes here as well. 
uh, you know, and there is a music mode as well. So, um, you know, for me, it was once that was set up, it was just really a case of getting this all stuck in around my desk. And obviously, you know, I didn't want to move the desk out of place, so I had to kind of carefully do this around everything uh, that was already set up. And um, you know, with it being five meters, you know, plenty of LED strip there, uh, more than what I actually needed. On the uh, on the to go around the desk, I actually ran that a little bit around the monitor as well. So now that I've got that installed, it's just a case of downloading the software. So I'll put a link down below in the description to be able to download the EWLink keyboard shortcuts app. You can get this for either Windows or for Mac OS. Uh, on Edge, uh, it did kind of like complain that uh, you know because this is a a new app and there weren't uh, an awful lot of downloads that you know you, you might want to be careful about that however my antivirus software had no issue with it at all um, once you've got it downloaded and you uh, have gone through the setup process uh, it really is just a case of creating yourself an account now if you've gone and set up the eWeLink mobile app then you've already got that account and you can just use those same credentials to log in here as well so before we get going with the keyboard shortcuts itself, we just need to set up some scenes in the EWLink app. So I'm going to set up a gaming mode on and a gaming mode off scene. Uh, so on is going to turn on the LED strip and uh, choose one of the kind of like the predefined color schemes. Uh, it's going to be a little bit flashy that one. And then the bulb itself, the light bulb is just going to be a nice static color that that's going to come on with. And then, uh, no surprises, the gaming mode off is just going to basically turn off those devices. So once you've got your scene set up in the app, it's just a case of launching the keyboard shortcuts desktop app. Now, when you go in there, you should then be able to see your scenes that you've got and configured, and you can assign it then to a keyboard shortcut. Uh, with the free version of the app, you can only have one of these set up. Um, you know, if you want more than that, then you'll need to. Uh, join the VIP plan, which I've mentioned in a previous video. Exceptional value, $10 for an entire year, so not even a dollar a month uh, for uh, another nine of these keyboard shortcuts, plus a whole load of other functionality that you get um, as part of the EWLink ecosystem. So uh, great value for money, and you know if you want to use, uh, I guess, you know the, the maximum potential of this, then you're probably going to want to look to uh, join that VIP plan. Um, but once you've got these set up, it is really then just a case of uh, pressing those buttons. And as you can see here in this little clip, you know, I've got Battlefield 5, got no RGB. Alexa, activate gaming mode. Sorry, I don't understand what gaming mode is. What a disappointing gaming setup that is. Uh, but a quick um, press of the my key keyboard combination and I've got everything lit up there. I've got my LED strip lit up and I've got my RGB bulb as well. And, um, you know, if I wanted to turn that off, then I can just press the uh, the key combination as well. So um, really, really straightforward process. It then starts, you know, your mind starts thinking then of all the other things that you could be doing with these key combinations. And um, obviously, you know, I tried a little bit further with this and, and this is kind of like building upon um, you know some of the things that you can do with the EWE Link app. So you know I've gone and set up uh, another scene within uh, the EWE Link app, and this time it's using the door sensor that they sent me previously for for the previous video. And um, basically, what I've done there is, is when that door sensor has been detected as open, then it will change my RGB strip to red, and I'm going to hook that in to the scene to en to enable this new scene so I've hooked it in onto the existing gaming mode scene so that when I switch that on I've got my headphones on and I'm playing Battlefield 5 I can't hear anything that's going on if somebody opens the door and activates that door sensor as you can see here my RGB strip then changes from you know the party mode that it was in into a nice bright red and I know instantly um, that you know somebody's gone and opened that door and that could obviously you know, be wherever that door sensor is located and you know as was demonstrated on the previous video 
uh, you know, I can then have the uh, the Sonoff camera start recording as well. So um, yeah, you know, if somebody tries breaking in whilst you're gaming, you've got yourselves absolutely covered there. So uh, you know, lots of things that you can do with these keyboard shortcuts. You know, you're hooking up all your different devices. Um, you know, no need to start talking to your smart devices. Smart devices are meant to be something that makes life a little bit easier for you. I think we've become a little bit um, kind of like slaves towards talking to uh, to our devices. And actually, you know, we need to be starting thinking a little bit more about automation and, you know, really these things helping us. And, uh, you know, I really do think, you know, this is this is an interesting concept. Having one of the keyboard shortcuts available in the free version of the software, a little bit stingy. I would have preferred to have seen two and then you can have like an on off mode uh, in that respect. Um, you know, I think most people who are going to use this kind of stuff are probably going to want way more than two and probably way more than 10, I would say. Um, so maybe that's something for EWLink to take away and have a look at. That being said, you know, that $10 for an entire year um, with all the other benefits that you get as part of the VIP plan, it, you know, is exceptional value. So, you know, if you can see um, benefit in having this, uh, which which I can, you know, if you know you've not got smart um, speakers and things like that available, um, then you know that that is really good value from that point of view. So there you go. That is the EWE Link keyboard shortcuts. Um, interesting concept, I feel. Not something I've come across before. Uh, definitely something I'm going to kind of like play around with and see what else I can do here. Um, obviously, you know, the the fundamental thing is that it is hooking up your uh, your computer with your your smart scenes and the actions that you've got within the EWE Link um, ecosystem, and um, you know takes you takes that need away from being able to do all the talking to your smart devices or be going back to your mobile device to constantly have to trigger things and everything. So you know if you are a user like I am, you know that that sits there pretty much most of the day in a, in a job where I'm using the keyboard then why wouldn't I use keyboard shortcuts to go and activate things? You know, why do I need to be constantly telling a smart uh, speaker, uh, you know, or going into a mobile app to be, you know, just to be able to trigger things and, and you know, get things going that, um, you know, should be a relatively simple process. So I'd love to know your thoughts down below um, on, on this particular topic, you know, on this video. What do you think about these keyboard shortcuts? Waste of time, you know, is this, is this something that's never going to be of any use to anybody or can you see benefit and value in this? You know, let me know down below in the comments. Um, you know, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this, then uh, you know, hit that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. But as always, uh, thanks for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.